Let's do something. Right now? Yes, right now. I want to go see that new Julia Roberts and Hugh Grant movie. It looks so good. But I mean, I wish you had told me this yesterday. Ethan and I are supposed to hang out tonight. With him? Again? But we're going to go stick cheese on people's windows. It's going to be epic. Cheese on people's windows? How juvenile can you be? But it's just for fun. I really don't think this friendship is good for you. Ethan is such a bad influence. I mean, sticking cheese on windows, and that's not even the worst. What about the time you guys went to Starbucks and started asking people things in British accents? Crumpets and scones? Really? I know, I know, but Ethan isn't as bad as you think. I mean, I have a lot of fun when I'm with him. And what? You don't have any fun with me? Maybe that's why you're always hanging out with him, and it's starting to show. What are you talking about? You're becoming more and more like him every day. You're acting immature, you're hyperactive, and you never listen to me anymore. You used to be such a good boyfriend. You mean, I'm not anymore? When's the last time you did anything nice for me? I do nice things for you all the time. Excuse me? When's the last time you bought me flowers or some chocolates? But what, what are you saying? It's either me or Ethan. Call me when you make the right decision. Hey Matt, are you ready to cheese up this town? Oh, hi. <sighs> Who lit the fuse on her tampon? I think she just broke up with me. Alright, you're a free man. High five. Okay. What happened? I don't know. She just suddenly started yelling at me. Because she thinks we're spending too much time together. She blamed me? You hang out with her like every day. I only get to see you after. Ever since you two started dating, I've had to work around her schedule in order to see my best friend. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I thought she would change when I told her how I really felt about her. What? How do you really feel about her? Well, I've never really told you this before, but I, I think I love her. I'm never gonna see her again! <sighs> Come on, Matt. You don't really love her. But I really think I do. Matt, either you do or you don't. <laughs> I do. <sighs> I'm bearing my soul here. Even though she seems to take up all of your time, you seem to really care about her. Yeah, but that doesn't matter now. If you really love her, then go get her. <laughs> I can't do anything. I really can't. Yes, you can. I'll help out. I'll even drive. You sure? Trust me. All right. Got the burgers. Did you get the flowers? Yes, I did. The pink ones, like I specified? Yep. Good. Girls love pink. All right. So you see, she gave you the information. All right. She wants flowers, chocolates, and some cheesy romance. All you have to do is execute it. Whoa. Never knew girls were so easy. Ah! What? What's wrong? Is this meat? What else would it be? 
This isn't good. Megan's an extreme vegan. If she smells meat on my breath, I'm dead. I've got breath mints. It's okay. Oh. I feel so bad. Anyway, these flowers are perfect. Now, we just need the fancy chocolates. And did you work on that romantic monologue? Yeah, I did. Did you hurt yourself while you were running through my mind? This is not how you talk to a girl. You gotta throw in some compliments. Girls love to know how pretty their eyes are, how skinny they are, and all that stuff. Oh. I got it. Much better. Now let's go get those chocolates. Let's. Okay, I wanna get in and out in like five minutes. We're gonna go in, grab the chocolates, and leave. Nothing else. What do you think I am, seven? I think I can handle going into a grocery store for five minutes. Remember the Mother's Day fiasco? It was not that bad. It's called an ambulance! The old woman could walk again, eventually. How do you knock down an entire display of bacon? I think the better question is, why was there a display of bacon in the middle of the store? You shouldn't have started racing the little girl in the cart. Hey, she challenged me first. It was a matter of honor. Oh my god. What were we supposed to do now? That was the only store that had her favorite chocolates. Alright, calm down. They're not that important. Megan will just have to suffer without them for now. But come on, let's get out of here before that girl's mom comes back with a heavier purse. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna park down the street from Megan's house. Well, we're here, so go get her. But, Ethan, I'm really nervous. Like, what if she says no? She will not say no. Do you really think so? I know so. So, are you pumped? I'm, I'm pumped. What? I can't hear you! I'm pumped! Then go get her! Ah! Oh, oh. Wow, I'm like six feet away from the curb. Oh wait, the flowers, I almost forgot. What? No! Ethan, stop! What? Oh my god! Oh, oh my god, I can't believe this. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Oh what my happened? God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look what you did! I can't get these to Megan now! This is your plan all along, wasn't it? What? Admit it. You never really liked her. You've been sabotaging me this whole time. I admit, I never liked her. That's only because she's selfish and possessive, and she always makes you miserable, and you just take it. But I would never sabotage you. I, I can't believe you'd think I'd do that to my best friend. I need to go in back my girlfriend. By myself. Well, good luck finding your own way home.
I knew you'd make the right decision. What are those? Can't believe you'd bring me this trash. It was just a mistake. I don't care. If you really cared about me... I don't care about you. I just spent the whole day out getting you flowers and chocolates and... And look what you have to show for it. Well, at least I made the effort. It really is selfish. Excuse me? Why is it always about you? You are going to regret saying that. Anything else you want to get out of your system? You know what? As a matter of fact, there is. First of all, I love meat. Second of all, I hate your stupid chick flicks. And third of all, I love being immature and actually having fun for a change. Where do you think you're going? To someone who isn't a bitch. Ethan! What? What happened? I, I called her a bitch. <laughs> and, uh, you were right. She, she is crazy, and I'm sorry I ever thought you'd try to hurt me. I, I was a bad friend. You mean best friend? You can hardly take the deafening silence And you're thinking about her smiling Get out of here. Um, yeah, about that, my car won't start. Oh well. There's a gas station around the corner. Alright. I have a great idea. Two words. Mustaches and unicycles. Do you know how to juggle? I don't, but I can ride a unicycle. Well, I can't really ride a unicycle. Can you juggle? No. Oh. I was gonna say, you can just sit on my lap and you can juggle.